it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Today, we're on Big Valley Ranch. Um, <clears throat> decided I'm just going to do it. Um, which I did just get a notification that somebody commented on the previous video that I uploaded on uh, Wednesday that they would like to see Big Valley Ranch. So... I'm going to start doing the series. Right now I'm just working on trucking some seed. It may not look like it, but this trailer, uh, the fill plane doesn't show and this fill plane doesn't show for seeds. Not sure why. Uh, I've trucked three loads of fertilizer and this is the third and final load of seeds uh, at 75,000 liters a load. So we'll have 225,000 liters of seed and fertilizer stockpiled for the upcoming planting and uh, fertilizer spreading we'll take a run through the equipment here really quick uh, while that's filling uh, I do get some like leg spikes on here not sure what's up with it but whatever this door will not open so I'm gonna need to like delete it and add a different door or something um, but anyway here we got a versatile 500 with duels that is running the Kuhn Kraus um, Jeez, what model number is this again? Eh, auto save, of course. Kicks in. Uh, 5635. That's for our corn ground. Um, and then we got the DB90 hooked to the Steiger Tiger KP525. Um, if we run over here, we got the uh steiger v12 detroit diesel the big thing i'll uh, hook to the borgalt borgalt uh air seating setup over here you can see the stockpiles um each one of these holds how much again uh that doesn't help me because that one's not a full forty-eight thousand. so we got Four full piles of fertilizer and then one that is 68% full. At the moment we have three piles of seed that is full. Uh, and we got a couple more coming. We got the second second diac, um, however you say it, whatever, auger sitting here. That's what we'll be using to load stuff. Um... We need to buy another piece of machinery here in a moment. We got the Ford F-350 extended cab dually or mega cab maybe. What is it? What's it say? Oh, it doesn't say anything, but the dually version. Pretty awesome truck. In the shop here, uh, we got the Case 4540 Titan spreader. Uh, all ready to rock and roll. At the dealership, we still got a few pieces of equipment and a couple that I got to pick up. We got Class 770 Lexion Terra Track. Uh, we got the GTS X10 Cornhead, Macdon FD75 Draper. Um, we got the Load King. <clears throat> excuse me, the Load King Gooseneck Trailer. Uh, in case we got to do any hauling. Uh, heavy hauling anyway. This is the trailer for the duels for the big Steiger. I'm just going to move it um, over there alongside the building. We got the P389 on the Dakota Hopper trailer. And then we got a tempt, uh, black temp trailer that is hooked to uh, this Kenworth W900 usually. But for right now, because I want to be able to use these piles. Um, but this trailer won't fill directly from the trigger and this one will and then for whatever reason this trailer is making all of my trucks like super light on the back end and I would rather use a different tender anyways um, so these two trailers are just gonna be at the uh, fertilizer place all the time and uh, so then we'll just bring a couple trucks up here to you know haul stuff um, 
And then we got the Cat CT660 truck pulling the B, uh, the Travis Classic end dump. And then we got the Seed Express 1260. Uh, the one more thing that I want to buy here is the Meridian 400 SLD uh, seed tender. We'll pick that up. That's what I plan to use for like seed. Um, more so than fertilizer because like with fertilizer I'll probably just take the spreader back to the yard. So we'll be farming fields 1, 2, 3, 4, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we got quite a large area that we'll be farming. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna get this loaded up. I'm going to pull this trailer ahead just a little bit and uh, fold it in and unhook it. I actually maybe we'll put it inside this building. Then we'll take the Travis end dump trailer back to the farm, unload it, and then um, uh, then we will bring it back here, drop it off. And then we're going to take the Load King to the farm. Uh, we'll probably throw the Combine on it or something. Um, I'm trying to make it so that this trailer is empty or at least at 0% by the time this end dump is full. So that way if I do fertilizer next, I'm you know this trailer isn't full of seed or something. Alright, so that's as empty as I'm going to get it. Okay, let's straighten this thing out. We'll throw the tarp on it. We'll pull it in here and get it dropped. So that way we can go hook this semi back onto the hopper trailer that it's supposed to be on. Take this over, hook it back up, and we'll go unload that uh, final load of seed, and then we'll f see how much more uh, setting up we get done, because I still got a few items that need to be taken back to the farm, as you can see. But most of the things, it's one trip, uh, but with the combine, that's going to be two trips. Uh, we'll see if we can throw it on the load king and lock it down or something. And then uh, the sea tender, we can come back with the pickup and bring the pickup over here and grab that. And when we bring the pickup over, we can uh, <coughs> move that duels trailer out of the way as well. So we'll put the tarp on, but some stuff's going to show through, of course, as it always does. So maybe eventually we'll get into some forestry as well, because uh, this map has a lot of forestry area on it. I think like this entire area here is forestry. I mean, there's a lot of trees on here. You know, like even these trees are loggable here. But um, you know, just we'll see. I'm not a huge, huge fan of logging. I mean, I don't mind it, but. <laughs> I like the farming part a little more. Uh, I believe there is... Yes, there's beef on here, I think, still. There was at one point. I don't think he took it off. But, um... We might get into some animals as well later on. But we'll see. Uh, I did not take a loan out. <clears throat> this map is set up to start with, like, almost... It was, like, somewhere between 5 and 6 million so um i haven't taken out a loan i haven't cheated any money in nothing like that uh, unless we start with a loan which we can look at uh just the usual standard loan um we'll just buy that just because i guess just because we can 
and whatnot, and then, uh, all, you don't have to buy the fields on this map, he just set them up, you know, just fields, and you just start farming them, so, it is kind of nice in a way, but then again, I kind of like being able to buy them, but, hey, it's still a great map, still really fun to play on, so, I have no issue with, uh, just farming fields. I picked some of the biggest fields to farm as well, so. Whoops, wrong button. Alright, last of the seed that we'll be dumping. So we can take this trailer back. We can drop it off, grab the load king. We'll throw a, probably the corn header on the load king. See if we can, see if it'll stay on there long enough to haul it to the farm. And then, uh, we'll go, we'll throw it off, basically, if we can make it to the farm with it. And then we'll run back, grab the combine, we'll just leave the draper header on the combine when we put it on the trailer. And, um, and then we'll just pull that to the farm as well. Finish getting some stuff set up, and then in the next video, we'll start plant putting some crops in the ground. <clears throat> um, I do need to get a liquid trailer. We should pick one of those up. So we're gonna have to make a couple more trips. Uh, liquid trailer for the. Oh wait, no. Yeah, liquid trailer for the. Uh, For the Borgolt uh, tank, so that way we can put down fertilizer right away with the uh, air seeder, and then we'll just have to fertilize corn ground. Because I don't believe that, uh, no, it doesn't fertilize it. it. I don't believe. I guess if it does, then we'll just fertilize anyways, maybe, or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Okay, seriously. Between autosave and leg spikes, I just keep freezing. Maybe I just need to go down one graphic setting on this map or something. But I'd rather not because it'd be kind of annoying. So I know I think I think that the trailer for the Borgolt is like a dry fertilizer I believe or maybe it's not let me look here yeah it looks like this would be like a solid fertilizer unit but we're still gonna use a liquid trailer just because I want to I guess yeah that's really the only explanation needed it's what I want to do, so it's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and these trailers are nearly the same size, too. It's kind of funny. I thought I tried putting a header on this trailer once and it, like, miserably failed, but I don't remember. Okay. Oh, that's right. And the combine is not even going to fit on this trailer at all. But, I mean, if we can get these headers, at least one header on there, I'd be happy. Because then we only have to make one trip with this combine. I mean, it fits perfectly on this trailer. Except I just need to move back a little bit. So, I mean, if that'll stay on there like that, I will be happy. Because then we can just take, you know, the draper back with this. Oh, yeah, I'm forgetting to get a grain cart. That'd probably be useful. Well, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I want to get a grain cart or not. Might just use the trucks. Okay, so 
we'll go here and we'll go lock bail. I guess if I don't drive too crazy, it should stay. Should being the keyword here. Just can't accelerate super fast and can't turn super fast. We should be good. Or super sharp. If we turn super sharp, we'll also have issues then. It seems to be staying though, which is nice. So. There, I saw it kind of shift forward a little bit. So it's not technically like locked on there, really. It's just kind of sitting there. So just take her nice and easy. We'll be all set. Because you can add ramps on this, but I remember trying to load a combine one other time. And it, this trailer's not wide enough for a combine. So. Started into that turn a little faster. <coughs> Ooh. A little too hard on the brakes there. But I didn't want to miss the turn either, so. Okay, so the headers I want to put right over there. So let's pull this up right like that. We'll unlock it. We'll just leave the trailer there. We'll run and grab the uh, sprayer support trailer. And then we'll fill it up quick and then take it to the farm. So yeah, we still have like almost two and a half million dollars, so I might have to like cheat some money out. Like get rid of two million. Or something like that. So that way we're like lower on money. And have to like actually earn some money. <laughs> I do like the water plane that's on this map. I might have to steal it for mine. For when I redo my water texture, or my water, my river. Pretty nice little trailer though. It could use one more tank, I think, and a little bit more capacity then. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, we'll grab this guy and run up and get... Oh yeah, we should have plenty of time to get everything back to the farm. So we'll run up here and grab our uh, seed tender and move that dual trailer.
So I'm not using damage mod or soil mod. Um, I just don't. I feel like playing a map without soil mod for a little while, especially with you know like this size. I would much rather not be using soil mod and damage mod. Uh, I just decided not to use it right now. <coughs> We're gonna tarp that, take it to the farm. Whoa! That's right. I need to do some work on this trailer yet. I paid. I bought the model from Polygonish, and then uh, the owner of Canadian Farming and Modding, or CFM 2.0, or whatever you want to call it, um, he did the in-game for me. And then, but there's still some stuff to do. Like, I want to get dynamic fill plane on it. I want to have mouse controls. Um, this blinker must not be scripted right. That it's not blinking. And then I want to have, you know, edit it so that it doesn't slide around anymore. And then get it so it accepts fertilizer as well. And then I want to set it up the same as the Seed Express so that the spout um appears that or else just put the spout on it but i don't think this has an unload plane maybe it does but just want to do a little little bit of work to it that door does not open either so we're gonna have to go in this way and just kind of back it in a little bit because i'm gonna put the combine in this stall here so I think what we're gonna do with this is back it in this way and then we'll put the support trailer the uh, spray sprayer support trailer in kind of kitty corner kind of going that way and then we'll put the load king in the other shop Okay, so we'll take this back. So now everything else, it's just one trip and done. You know, just drive it to the farm, park it, tab to the next vehicle, drive it to the farm, park it, so on. So, it'll be a little bit faster. Sorry, I have like a sore throat. So I keep coughing. Or like a scratchy throat, something. Road Brute. What's that say? Wilson Trailers, Moberly, Missouri. <laughs> this is a pretty awesome trailer. I love it. Whoa! I should probably pay attention to driving instead of reading the trailer. Let's see what do we got? We got 24D, LV4, and Roundup. And we got some bags up here of stuff too. APF S Soul. I have no idea what that is. I don't know much about chemicals, so. Half of this stuff I'm not going to know anything about. In fact, I know like nothing about chemical. <laughs> we don't use any, so. Alright. So this will go in pretty easily, actually. Right there will do it. We'll lift the triaxle on this truck. So we don't need it down anymore. 
We'll hook back onto this and we'll uh, bring the combine home so we can get this parked. Okay, so we're just gonna finish driving stuff and then that'll be the end of the video. Then I'm just gonna record the next one right away since it'll be planting and that's what I'll be doing once all this stuff's done. Ooh boy. This is not gonna end well. Okay, so we're gonna drop this down. Let's see, was it control? No. Alt, right. No, left shift J. We're gonna lift this thing up all the way on. Oh, that is all the way. Okay, hopefully this bridge doesn't have clip. Of course it does. We're gonna have to go around. Man, if I was smart, I would uh, just buy a header trailer, but why do things the easy way, huh? <laughs> Okay, so now it's not dropped. Oh, and there's a bridge there, too. Shoot. There's bridges everywhere. <sighs> it's because this water runs right here. Man. Yeah, there's the sail barn right there. <coughs> yeah, it shows it here, too. Alberta beef. There we go, we'll just jump out on the main road just like this. Now we have no bridges in our way. Anymore. <laughs> if none of the fields we'll be farming, we'll have to cross rivers or anything, so. We're taking up the entire road, though. Good thing there's no traffic. Okay, so we need to fix this. Left shift H. There we go. It's kind of annoying how sometimes that cutter attacher script doesn't want to always, like, work properly, I'll say. Because, like, it... It'll, um, like, drop... You know, it'll drop the header sometimes, and then other times it won't. So then, like, I'll have to switch to normal and then back to auto, and then it'll work. And then same with, like, if I lift it all the way up like I just did and then try and drop it, it always, it sometimes does not always want to work. So, kind of annoying, but really not much to do about it. A lot of land that we're going to be farming going to be a lot of work. I should have bought the Midwest 60 foot header. I'd really knock out some acres then. But. This combine. I used that Midwest header on this combine once to do some testing because I was in a hurry. I was trying to test a couple of scripts. Text the uh, rock spawn mod. Um. And then also the um, soil cultivator script. And um, you know, I needed to have some chop straw on the field. So I just used the Midwest 60 foot header to get some straw in a hurry. Or you know to har harvest in a hurry. So that way I could work on it and whatnot. So... Okay, so we can get this guy parked, get the trucks back, get that low boy parked, and we'll be all set to go. Well, and then put the pickup up at the house. Oh, and there is storage up there, too. So I guess we could have put some stuff up there, but... We got enough room down here. We can use that 
shed for some other stuff if we get other things. Okay, so we'll go like that. Hop in this guy here. Holy crap, we're gonna have to like jackknife it to get it over there. Oh, maybe not. Guess it'll work pretty well. Then we'll run down and open those doors up so that way we can back the hopper trailers in there. Because that's where those will go. So I guess I didn't need to move that corn planter as far over as I did, but we'll adjust it after planting, I guess, when we go to park it. But this guy's got to go all the way back as far as it can. So that way we have room to kind of jackknife that corn planter into here. Alright, so it should just be these two trucks yet, and we should be good to go after that. Come on. Work with me here. Jeez Louise. I don't know what it is about the town area, but... <coughs> it's usually where I get the most spike leg spikes. Ugh. trailer does have lights on it. This truck sounds pretty mean though. Thing's pretty awesome. Sounds like a train horn. I guess we'll put this one in the far stall. I guess we do need a, well, maybe we could get a fuel trailer, but we should be able to get by without one. We won't really be too terribly far from the farm at any point, but if a machine starts running low on fuel, we can't go back to the farm and get it. Or when that happens, go buy a fuel trailer then or something. But for now, we're good. Um, let's see here. I want to see what crops are on this map. I'll figure out what we can all plant. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Wheat, barley, canola, grass, corn, sugar beet, potatoes, alfalfa. We got beans, we got sunflower, we got rye, we got oat. And then we go back through those. Clee, whatever that is. Probably similar to alfalfa. So we'll probably plant oats and rye 
oats, rye, and sunflower with this. And then beans with the uh, beans and corn. Let's see, because we got, we're farming how many fields? One, two, three. Oh, that's why. Mouse quit on me again. I hate that. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we do like 17 and... We'll do 17 in soybeans. I'm going to write this down so I don't forget it now. <coughs> 17 beans. Um, we'll do fields... One and two in oats. Three and four in rye. Eighteen and nineteen in sunflowers. And then twenty in corn so yeah we'll be all set then <coughs> see I'm hoping to get quite a few videos recorded right now that way I got a bunch of stuff ready to rock and roll and I got it ahead and can start doing some other stuff right away. Come on. Yeah, I think after I finish recording, I'm going to save the game, quit, and then I'm going to go turn my graphics down a setting or two. Maybe that'll help. And also, I'm sure saving and quitting and restarting will also help, because... That seems to help after a while I'll be playing and just seem to get a little bit more lag than before and save it, quit, play for a while again. Because I've been playing for quite a while already, probably a good hour and a half or so. I was probably playing for an hour before I started recording, so... Oh my god, nine frames a second. Anyhow, um, I guess we gotta put the pickup away yet, too. We'll put this up at the farm house. I guess it's probably also all the equipment in one spot. <coughs> so we're going to park this in the... We'll park this in this shop. Use this as our garage. Okay, I guess it's not going to give me the option to open it in the pickup. Or it will, and yeah. We'll just have to be like right under it. Anyhow guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video... Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as <coughs> links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.